Hi, this is David from ACG here to do another video for you. Today we're going to do a video on how to connect a second monitor to a Dell Wise 5070 Thin Client. The Dell Wise 5070 Thin Client is intelligent enough to know which monitor is the newest one and which one may be a little bit older. As you can see here, I've got three different monitor setups. I've got a newer monitor on the left and a little bit older monitor on the right. You're going, Dave, how do I tell which one's newer and which one's older? Well, you'll see that the bezel around the monitor on a newer one has a very thin bezel, whereas on the monitor that's a little bit older, it has a little bit thicker bezel going all, the, all around the pane of glass. So um, I'm going to show you here how to uh, connect that monitor. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and power down and shut down your Dellwise Thin Client so we can get the monitors connected. Now I've already got mine set up and connected here, so if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that so that you can get your monitor set up and follow along. Now I want to show you that the Dellwise uh, 5070, you're going, Dave, how do I tell? Well, at the bottom of the Dellwise 5070 Thin Client, you're going to see that the it says WISE 5070 on the bottom below that sticker. Now, one of the things that I also want to show you is you're going to need to know which display port to connect to. And we're going to show you that here in just a second as well. Now, on the bottom of the Dell WISE 5070, you're going to see that there's two display ports on there. Display port 1 is on the top and display port 2 is on the bottom here. So, you're going to need to know that for the 5070. Okay, so I've got the monitor set up. What you're going to need to do is go ahead and get the uh, video connection cable. It's going to have an adapter cable on it with the display port on it. As you see, it kind of looks like a D on the end. It might be a little hard to see from here in this distance in the video, but it is key to fit into the back of the 5070. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect mine here just like that and give it a second for the monitors to come up. When they come up correctly, you're going to see that your icons are going to be on the left hand side and our monitor orientation for our mouse is going to be able to go left and right across the panes of glass between the two monitors. So um, that's how you connect them. Now if you have two monitors that are just alike, like this one and the one on the very end, you're going to have to take the cable, the display port cable from the left monitor and plug it into the top port on the 5070. The monitor on the right in that, you'll plug that into port two, which will be on the bottom, port number two on the 5070. Now I want to explain to you that with the Dell Wise 5060, some of you may have this device, and that uh, on the Dell Wise 5060 device, the display ports are on the top of the thin client, and you'll see that port number one is on the bottom, and port number two is on the top. So it's just the opposite for the Dell Wise 5060. So go ahead and get that connected. If there will be instructions in the box with your second monitor, Follow those instructions, please, or follow along with this video. If you're having a problem and you need to try and resolve it, your monitor orientation is not correct, refer to steps three and four in the process on the documentation. If it still doesn't work, reach out to your supervisor, have them assist you with it. If you're still not able to get it corrected, uh, please contact the help desk. You can reach them at 1-800- 226-3300 and again that number is 1-800-226-3300. Good luck and thanks for watching.